Hello, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the Slow Mo Guys. A few years ago, Dan, I learned about something called popcorning. Yeah, I mean, we did a video of popcorn before, you know, popping the kernels and everything. Yeah. This is slightly different. It's slightly different. It's when a person, sometimes unknowingly, sits on an airbag and it goes off and launches them like halfway to the moon sometimes. I mean, it? usually I'm a fan of like pranks and things and I'm usually up for anything, but I <laughs> definitely am not up for this. Well, we've got an airbag, and because you didn't want to do it, we yeah. sort of hired a new uh, member of the team, didn't we? Yeah, we did. So this is to save my back. Oh, God. Oh, he splits his legs. Watch out. Oh, God. His bloody legs are spread. Oh. All right, this is, we've named him Slow Mo. Um, yeah. <laughs> M-O-E Mo. Now, he um, is up for anything. Yeah, just in case, you know, we weren't already enough like Mythbusters. Although this is cheaper than Buster, I think. Yeah, that's yeah. Fair. definitely. So shall we wire up an airbag and see how he does? So I perched him on this <laughs> airbag here. Careful, careful, where you, careful where you're reaching. Oh, sorry, pal. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Um, and it's all hooked up. I just need to connect these two to a car battery and uh, we'll be good to go on the airbag. I hope he survives. Yeah. Um, this, honestly, slightly nervous for him, but I've tilted him sort of like a nice jaunty angle. And uh, yeah, hopefully he doesn't smash anything on his way up. Well, he doesn't look scared. He doesn't. No. You're right. In order to not have Mo crush the Phantom, we've put the Phantom under this handy table. This might be the first and last appearance of Mo. <laughs> <laughs> what are your predictions? I think he's gonna have a really bad time. I think he's gonna shed limbs and head maybe. Hopefully we'll see why I didn't want to do this. Yeah. I've got a mannequin. I think we'll learn that within the first 0.1 second of detonation. Right, we're connected to the negative. Three, two, one. <laughs> Sounded like a head rolling there. You couldn't pose it better as in like, he looks like he's been blown up. <laughs> he does. Doesn't he? he, like, he like, his arm's off. No, his hand <laughs> is off. A little smolder. His head's off. So do you think he just went up and then face back down? I think he. I think we made him popcorn. <coughs> I wonder how high he went. I wonder if he just went like. Well, that looks uncomfortable. That looked painful, but I didn't fling him that far. No, he just sort of like. He just left the ground. I'll be honest. By the way it sounded, I thought it was going to be a lot higher than yeah, that. Yeah, that's very lacklustre. Oh, his face! That's a, that's a scar on the forehead. For sure. I thought he'd like hit the shelves or something, the amount of noise there was. I mean, even still, that's really cool to see how quick the airbag was out, isn't it? All right, he didn't seem to go far, did he? No, he didn't, so... <laughs> trying a different bag. Yeah, I'm trying a different bag, and I'm gonna try putting it upside down this time so that the airbag part of it points down rather than up into him. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, it broke his legs! Oh God! What is? <laughs> it is what has gone on there? Where's the airbag gone? <gasps> oh! I need to move it. How did it go over there? <laughs> did it Jesus. melt my camera charger? I don't think it did. Well, his ass is cracked, so let's see if we can see how. It oh, okay. Yeah. I think that putting the airbag downwards actually puts more pressure into, like it wastes the energy on the airbag flinging up. And I think because his legs are off frontwards, the way the angle that the airbag comes out just propels it backwards, <laughs> smashing it right into all of our <laughs> charging equipment. But like, it was like, it was almost like the airbag went, which is the most expensive <laughs> direction. I think, ah, ah, that one. All right, so this isn't working as it is in the videos we've seen. And I think the common thread in all the videos we've watched is that the airbag is always contained in a chair, in a tire, something that stops the airbag from wasting energy outwards and just forcing all of it straight up. We're gonna give them a bad time, aren't we? Yeah. So I think I'm gonna go to the scrapyard and get a tire with which to contain the airbag and also maybe some bigger airbags. Like these a passenger are, one? Yeah, these ones are steering wheel ones. I'm gonna get a passenger one. All right, it's a new dawn. It's a new day. Yeah, it's a new copyright strike. So, um, is so that we, a copyright strike? <laughs> no, so we got him on a tire now. Uh, hopefully that will prevent any sort of side spreadage of the airbag. Wasted energy, the one that propelled the airbag over there. Hopefully that won't happen. It will just send all of the energy up. Into Mo here. Into Mo. Yeah. yeah. We've also changed the airbag. We've gone for, instead of a steering wheel one, 
one of the passenger side ones, which are potentially bigger because the airbag has to reach a further distance. Obviously, because yeah. the steering wheel's right in front of you, but then the passenger dash is actually quite far away. So usually bigger airbags. Yeah, usually just more material. Yeah. Do you think the lenses are safe? You don't think you'll chuck something at the glass? I don't think it will. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. oh God! Oh. 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 He ripped his, arm his off. arms off. Oh. He went. <sighs> okay, I'll be honest. I'll Something be honest. made a difference. There. I'll be honest. <laughs> In there, I was w trying to wait four seconds. <laughs> But the noise, never, the noise never stopped. Yeah. It was like, <laughs> I was like, I don't know when to trigger. Do you know that bit on uh, Lord of the Rings when they're in Moria and I think it's Peregrine Took knocks that bucket over in two well <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> and it's just a close up of his face. It's like, oh. yeah, <laughs> that's what we were like in there. I feel like a cave troll's about to bust through the garage door any second. Look at this. Oh my god, is that still going to work or is it just no. completely janked? No, that's busted. Oh no. We've got bits of hand and finger, I assume, down here. I think he's done for. He is done for. He's got a leg off. No, he's got an entire leg off, which has gone over there and smashed your batteries. Yeah, we lost a battery charger. His hand landed on the lens case. The, well, the hand that didn't explode. He's got a leg over here. <gasps> Did he go that far? Flipping heck. He's gone every direction. That's not bounce damage. Is that explosion damage? That's a, I think he blew up. You kidding? <laughs> <laughs> that, honestly, I didn't have high hopes for the video after the first couple of attempts. Disappointing. Lackluster. Yeah, lackluster is the word. That one. Is that, is that his head? Oh. I looked at it and I saw it because it wasn't there. Is that like a piece of him that's brushed against the ceiling? I think he's, I think he's done it. I think he's hit the ceiling, you know? Oh, his hand is here. Oh man, his fing like his fingers everywhere, and I didn't know where the rest of the hand was, and this is it. <laughs> it's like he lost his thumb, his index, and his middle tip. Yeah. I mean, you get to see what did the damage. Was it him landing or the explosion? Oh, he just blew his knees out. He just blew up <laughs> his, hand. his hand. Oh, it's gone like <laughs> smashed something. Oh, oh my. God. We just blew him apart. Not only that, the <laughs> airbag also flew in the air. It just, yeah, it went straight up. It was exactly how the, the tire was supposed to work. It's not even in the frame anymore. To be honest, I zoomed in a little bit because <laughs> the other ones were too wide. Oh no. Did oh, he... the whole thing came down on the charging what? area. What? Okay, see, look, okay, there's a lot going on here. The hand didn't smash on the floor. The hand smashed on the ceiling, I think. Because he's already lost his thumb and fingers. Yeah, yeah, and there's bits of hand. The whole of Mo landed on the charging area. <laughs> oh, he just thumped himself on the table there. <laughs> <laughs> that came that was bloody close that was, to that way. Wait, because the other camera was here as well. Yeah. So I guess it must have just like missed. Just. I'll be honest, I think the hand went between the two cameras. That was, that could have been that really That was irresponsible. Bad. We thought we'd be safe with this table here. Do you think the lens is safe? You don't think it'll chuck something at the glass? I don't think it will. I don't think it will. Holy crap, that was a difference. He turned into a, a bomb. That was mental. Oh my God. He hit the ceiling. He did. I think his head, I think, I think, so what bit hit the light? You can see him bouncing off the ceiling. Even though it's out of frame, you can see it. It stops him. Do you I can't believe it didn't do more damage. There is no way you could be in the room with this. You would have been, it, it turned him into shrapnel. It did, it was dangerous. That could have been so bad. Would have been, you know, 
an insurance claim, but still. <laughs> it's not what you want, really. It's not what you want. So what happened, sir? Okay, well, the, the bloke's hand <laughs> fell off. We didn't do this one outside because it's not good weather today. It's dark, it's wet. But I think we actually got a lot out of doing it in a compressed space. Like, we got <laughs> stuff that wouldn't have happened outside. Well, we'd have lost the hand, for we'd sure. <laughs> that would have been gone. That would have been in the neighbour's back garden. Yeah, yeah, there's a, probably a leg would have disappeared as well. All right, let's not do any more. <laughs> oh, there's a smudge, look. He's left a little smudge on the, on the wall. Oh, God. Yeah, that's him, isn't it? Yeah, so it looks like we've lost that arm. This arm's gone. That's Both totally... of these legs have been, like, stripped. The thing is, is that this, this is what holds the uh, lower leg in place, and that's ripped open, which means the whole leg is gone. Whereas, you know, actually, we can probably use the top half again, except Smashed it... Smashed his gooch. Yeah, the gooch is... Gooch? The gooch. <laughs> Le gooch. <laughs> Le gooch. <laughs> <laughs> it's made a, a rubber smush. Is that from where the wheel was set? Yeah, so this is where the wheel was, and the force of the airbag pushing down into the ground has caused the... Look, you can even read it. <laughs> the, the, like, the rubber that says SSP93. Oh, oh, it's backwards, because obviously the smush, <laughs> it's smushed. Uh, <laughs> it's obviously just mirrored. So are you glad that it wasn't you in Mo's place? Are you, do you mean, am I glad that my leg hasn't come off? <laughs> I need a new gooch. Can you, <laughs> can you imagine arm. if I'd walked in after you were on it, and you were the exact <laughs> same damage? You walked over to your battery like, oh no, my battery. Oh, well maybe we can work on repairing him. And using him in a future video, but we'll put him in we'll put him in temporary retirement. So don't try that with a mannequin or a human. Oops. <laughs> um, Stop breaking it. Make sure. I'm so gutted that he didn't last one episode. Make sure you subscribe to the Slow Mo Guys. We've got a second channel. We're on social media. And in memory of old Slow Mo 1.0, give that bell a little ring. Yeah. In his, in his honor. Tribute. I'm gonna go and paint that dent in the wall. I'm gonna get some super glue yeah. out and try and fix him. Yeah. <laughs>